Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com. I am kicking myself because I wanted to talk about something on the podcast. I'm going to try it anyway, but it's not going to be nearly as good as it would have been. Yeah, what's funny is before we went on, you were like, all right, I'm going to try it with no information. No information at all. And I was like, all right, that's a great way to start a segment. Yeah, <laughs> they do it on the news networks all the time. You, you are I'll absolutely give it a shot. right. All right, so I saw this link and now it's gone and I, I'm going to find it. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's about a journal article that was apparently in the journal Nature. Okay, the journal nature is extremely well thought of it was i think it was uh founded in the 1860s in england it was founded with what they would call a polemical purpose like it like it was to argue for darwinism in terms of origin of life okay okay so a naturalistic purely naturalistic materialistic explanation of where life came from that's the basis of that journal. Okay. It is not a religious journal. It's not influenced by Christians. There's no, okay, so we know what that is. That's right. what it's always been. Mm -hmm. So apparently they just had an article about origins of life where the people writing the article, again, it's a highly respected journal. And these are not believers. Not believers mm -hmm. say, we, in truth, have no idea where life came from. We act like we do. Yeah. We don't. The truth is we don't. We give the impression that we do. The truth is we don't. Mm -hmm. we, we, we can figure out little micro parts of it. And the analogy that, that one person used was like, like you're standing in a canyon with two high walls and you're trying to bridge that canyon mm -hmm. and you figured out how to make a ball bearing or something. Right. So you're like, we figured out how to make the bridge. Right. No. no, you didn't. Right. And they, then you have a helicopter, like lift that ball bearing out of the canyon and show it to everybody. Like, so we figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't. Right. Like, how does that fit into the scheme of things so that we know how a protein's made mm -hmm. and then how that would connect to this other thing? Right. We, they, I tell you, I've heard it before too from, from people who are, I guess they would call themselves molecular biologists or evolutionary biologists where they're like, no, 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 we got that figured out. They don't. Mm -hmm. And they're admitting it. Yeah. But they've been they they play offense in a certain way like well you're an idiot if you don't yeah yeah <laughs> we know how this we, we, the, clueless mm -hmm. acknowledging that in nature the Darwin Journal mm -hmm. they don't know and there's a lot that could be gained from presuming intelligent design mm -hmm. I'm not talking about like flimsy science I'm talking mm -hmm. about considering possibilities which they do in many other fields there's the, what's the What's it called? Memetical? I uh, can't remember. Um, but design. Mm -hmm. Picking up design elements from nature. Mm -hmm. Because you're like, well, why is, why is that shark skin made the way it's made? Right. And then finding out by adapting that, like, you, if, you, if you assume design, it actually opens up some questions that you wouldn't otherwise. Mm -hmm. And walling off possibilities doesn't help. Mm -hmm. So... There's there are a billion arguments I wanted to share because I thought the bullet points about that were really interesting. But just the fact and the, and the critique of the, that they're offering their own camp mm -hmm. to go be honest, you don't know. And when you talk to somebody like Richard Dawkins, he's a biologist. He's one of the new atheists and blah 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 from back in the day. But he admits honestly, we don't know. So just I just wanted to share that. I thought that that's really actually quite a breakthrough. You yeah. probably won't hear about it because it's, it's things are presented in a certain way. Like there's this unanimity of opinion on, on this issue. And it's no, nah, not really. Mm -hmm. So there's like the public facing science and then there's what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's pretty messy, yeah. but they act like it's not. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was, I thought it was interesting. If you could find the link yourself, maybe you send it to me. And I can, <laughs> I I can learn about a little more into it. I want to learn about whatever I'm talking about. <laughs> Right now. Okay, so I guess we're out here. So much happening. Better luck next time. Okay. Yeah, see you later. All right. Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm good. How what are you? What were you? And I'm great, thank you. What were you and the uh, Triple Dragons doing uh, over there? Some hoops. Oh, is that what that yeah. was? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hit a uh, fade away. <laughs> three there to end it oh that's what all the celebration was yeah. about or they were just so yeah. so into the fact that yeah 
crushed it like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, where's me at? We're all different. Like, we still wear our vests when we're playing. Our, mm -hmm. uh, well, you want to be identified. Triple Dragon sure. leather vest. Yeah. It's, uh, Just in case another gang comes around right. and they see. They're like, hey. Still know who's who. Still know who's who out here. <laughs> out in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're on Dilemma Street. It's what we do in yeah. this environment. I'm with the Triple Dragon. This is my gang. And um, <laughs> we... Uh, Sherry and I hang out here next to this stoop and we take your dilemmas and we're not professional counselors it's more of a just like a, hey let's talk about it sort of yes thing. okay important to know we're not professional counselors pretty short refreshingly short Kirsten writes hi Brant and Sherry your boss tells you she's gonna send a send you a magic circle for the day you go in for a biopsy how do you respond I don't know what a magic circle is. I don't either. Okay. But I, I did respond. Like, I used the monocle guy for everything. Like, it was yes. texted. Yeah, okay. To her. All right. I'm going to send you a magic circle for your biopsy. And I do get and many. It's your boss. I do get many monocle things from yeah. you. About, so, if yeah. you type in, hmm, like <laughs> HMM on your <laughs> iPhone, at least. Uh-huh. There's a guy that comes up with a little monocle. Yes. And like, he's, like, stroking his chin. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's a yellow guy, you know. <laughs> Yeah, his face being an emotion Circle. emoji sure yeah so um <laughs> that's what you suggest I, yeah all right I mean, you, you can use it's really uh it's all purpose i wouldn't even put hmm i would just put, put that the guy. Yeah, yeah right put, put the guy and it'll be bigger that way too if you yeah. type in hmm, and then the guy it'll be smaller <laughs> but you want that big monocle big face. monocle guy just to go yeah and then she will at she least interpret it however be she wants. as confused as you are Right. And then both of you are confused. Both of you are saying the exact same thing. I wonder why she sent me this. There you go. There you go, Kirsten. It's the great leveler. The answer to Magic Circle <laughs> is Monocle Guy. <laughs> so there's a gospel artist. Always appreciated his music. Um, he was on a very, 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 very popular morning show called The Breakfast Club um, on Urban Stations. Yeah. And he was talking about, you know, just his music and it, it, he and Kirk Franklin went on a, on an arena tour. They're talking about that and everything. And so, of course, it always gets around to the church and church people and this and that. You know, it's always a little bit of deconstructing going on there at the uh, breakfast club. And he makes a comment within the context of a larger comment because I went and listened to the whole thing. It was about an hour interview. But the clip, inevitably, that circulated was him saying, the church is whack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's his actual, mm -hmm. <laughs> those are his actual words, the church is whack, right? And so that just started a huge, huge thing of people hmm. arguing back and forth and hmm. back and forth and back and forth. And so uh, I had people ask me what I thought, and I didn't, you know how you don't want to wade into things like that be mm -hmm. because then it just gets all murky because people are only reacting to a 20 second clip yeah. of an hour interview. Yeah. But I said something to my friend. I 